on the 2nd of October 2021, subsequently Nigerian Independence Day, Pastor Chris Okafo, the founder of Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministry, aka Liberation City, called up the celebration of Nigeria's 61st year of independence in his church. The 51 years old pastor stated, The only thing we'll do is to give thanks to God. Vous remerciez le Seigneur. Le gâteau, il devait couper, mais il ne veut pas. Cette célébration concernant the country, le pays, there is nothing truly to celebrate about. Yes, sir. That there is nothing truly to celebrate about the country, due to the unstable state of the country, relating to the insurgency and killings going on every day in the country. It says that thanks should be given to God instead, and bear with the idea of a celebration. Speaking of the nature of the country, he states that the situation of the country has never been so bad. Though he doesn't blame the government, he says the term one Nigeria is more of a mirage because of the fact that some ethnic groups believe that they are the majority and claim ownership of the country, causing a sort of marginalization. He points out that it's difficult for a multilingual country to be united, identifying countries like America, France, Spain and Portugal, which are more united because they speak one language still on the issue of marginalization and claims by certain ethnic groups of being the majority and owning the presidency. He makes it clear that if the country were truly one, then most of the appointments of the present government shouldn't have been partial or one-sided, stating that one part of the country cannot be more qualified than the other, and that which is the major cause of conflict amongst ethnic groups in Nigeria. He states that the idea of one Nigeria is a great idea, but if that unity cannot be achieved, then they should peacefully separate or negotiate on terms of peaceful coexistence. He blames the colonial masters for the current state of the country. He goes on to pray to God for the peaceful coexistence of Nigeria or a peaceful separation and also for groups that want to go separate ways, especially the people of Biafra who tend to fight amongst themselves over the course of Biafra. He advises that they should channel their he advises that they should channel their power and influence through better ways that wouldn't involve killing and bloodshed of their own people. He also pleased with the Nigerian government to listen to the people so as to avoid killings and bloodshed. Federal government, they should listen to the crowd of the people and release the Bazin and the Kalu. Unconditional. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the, they should release him unconditionally. When he's released, tension will come. And to release the withheld leaders of the separating groups. He points out that. He points out that these agitators used to be peaceful until they were triggered by the government and therefore pleased with the government to do what's right.